Did you know that SOPs are the secret to having a scaling and sustainable business? Yes, my name is Shirley and I'm a ClickUp consultant. I'll be guiding you on how you can create your own SOP in ClickUp using just three simple steps. So first, why do you need an SOP? Aside from it being a way to have a scaling and sustainable business, it's also one way to make sure that all your processes are done consistently in the same way each and every time. So if you create this document, anyone will be able to follow it even without you being there. So that's actually one way for you to be able to get that vacation that you've always wanted. So here's how we can go ahead and create an SOP inside your ClickUp. The first thing you need to do is to get it out of your head. Doesn't matter if you're using a pen and paper, a notebook, or even a tool like Whimsical. So you can go ahead and choose whatever tool you want to get it out of your head. So you can just simply do a brain dump and list everything that needs to be done for that process. So make sure that you always have a starting point and an ending point for each process. And then once you get it out of your head, then the second thing you need to do is to sort out your processes. Simply sorting it out just means you're going to go ahead and list down all the steps that needs to be done for that process. So it's simply a way of asking what's next. If you ever come to a point where you need to make a decision, you can go ahead and have it fork out over different processes as long as you still have the same result at the end of the process. So now our third step is to go ahead and create an SOP in ClickUp. To make an SOP in ClickUp, just go ahead and create a ClickUp doc. So I have here a doc template that I already created. So you just need to make sure that you make this document into a template. So go ahead and write out how you usually create your SOP, have a title for it. What is the purpose for making that process? And then the procedure. So in the procedure, we will start with the input or what triggers the process. And we will then have the individual steps to go ahead and run through that process. So lastly, we have an output or the expected outcome for that process. So make sure that you go ahead and save this document as a template so that whenever you have a new SOP, you just go ahead and launch this SOP template, or you can go ahead and simply duplicate this one into a new template. For example, I have here a social media posting SOP. And let's say, of course, the purpose of this SOP is to promote your business. And once you have that, the input comes from a request. So it may be a request from your manager to go ahead and create a social media post. And the output for this SOP is, of course, let's say it will be a Facebook post. Now, the steps to create this SOP, let's just make it very simple, is step one is you'll create graphics. Next is to create a caption. And the last step would be to schedule the post for publishing. Then you can go ahead and create your task in ClickUp according to this SOP. So let's say that we'll go ahead and have a content creation. And so each task will have their subtasks. So it will go have subtasks for graphics, sending to client, promo email, and then reviewing the content. So that will follow the steps that we have in our SOP. So the great thing about having your SOP doc in ClickUp is that you can go ahead and actually link your SOP as your relationship. So it will appear, or you can refer to that SOP whenever you're doing that task. So you can go ahead and add a relationship and click on doc. Let's say you can select 
that social media posting SOP so that it will appear here. So whenever that social media manager is doing that task, they can go ahead and simply open this doc and they can refer to the steps inside that SOP. They don't have to actually exit out of this task and they can go ahead and just simply add a relationship to this SOP. So to recap, you first need to get it out of your head in any method you prefer. Then you need to sort out your process by listing down all the steps involved in that process. And then you go ahead and use your SOP template in ClickUp. And I hope that helps you and you can go ahead and start having that vacation that you always wanted if you have your SOPs in place.